Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to talk about another quote. Another quote, lots of quotes this week. Uh, a man who is not afraid is not aggressive. A man who has no sense of fear of any kind is really a free and peaceful man. Krishnamurti, Krishnamurti, I don't know if you've heard of him. If you haven't, look him up. Very interesting quotes. So a man who is not afraid is not aggressive. A man who has no sense of fear of any kind is really a free and peaceful man. Krishnamurti. I like his other quote as well. You cannot judge your health by being well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. He quoted that as well. But no, let's stick to this one. So fear. Fear. Where do you think fear comes from? False evidence appearing real. <laughs> There's loads of that at the moment, loads of that. False evidence, tons of that going around at the moment, appearing real. So what does that do that puts you into a state of fear? So when you're fearful, you become aggressive. You're like cornered. Ah, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this. So if you have no sense of fear, you become free and peaceful. People, so many people are looking for freedom at the moment. So many people want freedom. And yes, deep inside of us, we have this passion, this, this yearning to be free. I want to be free. I want to break free. Freddie Mercury, God bless his soul. Amazing, amazing singer. And I want to, I want to break free. It is breaking free from the confines of this matrix that we live in. So the fear, the fear coming, if you look at the mainstream media, it's just pounding you with fear, 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 fear. And I've spoken about it before, about the wonderful things that are actually happening in the world. And you've got this. This is the best that this can offer. And we don't question it because we don't see things past it. We don't see past the illusion that it's creating. We don't see that. And they're creating fear in many, many different ways. Like the education system, well, you can't, you can't set your own company up. You can't work for yourself. What are you talking about? You need to you need to go through the education system, which is going to streamline you into a corporation where you're going to live a dull and boring life, just doing the same thing every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> if that doesn't put fear into you, I don't know what will. It's, it's just no way, no way. That's how corporations started: is is to take you away from actually being able to build something for yourself. You can build the whole thing like a car, or build the whole thing like a piece of machinery, or even butcher something, which is you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. But but and then compartmentalize you so that you're just putting the screws into the wheels of the car, or you're just putting the top or the lid on to like a printer or whatever. Or you're doing something that you're just doing the same thing every day so that you don't know. How the rest of it works so you're compartmentalized and therefore you can only do what you do you can't actually create something else outside of that that's terrible absolutely terrible you should really know how to do the whole create the whole thing for yourself i remember speaking to two of my nephews many years ago and they were just growing up with quite young minds still but very open and i said to both of them i said to you see that DVD there? I said, yes. They said, just imagine if that went wrong and there was no other DVDs left in the world. Would you know how to fix that at all? Would you know how to fix that? No, no. So would you, would you be able to build another one through, through looking at that? No, no. It's funny because I'm not saying I had an influence on their life, but both of them got into engineering and building things which is incredible because they know they've got the knowledge now of how to put things together and uh, put the whole thing together, not just fixing something, but the whole thing together. And that's really empowering knowledge. And we need more people like that that can put the whole thing together. I.e., If you're going to set up a YouTube channel, for instance, if you're going to set a YouTube channel up, you need to learn about the whole thing, about filming. You need to learn about content, what content to put in, you need to know about lighting, you need to know about this, that, sound, uh, so it goes on and on and on. You need to be able to do the whole thing. You can't just sit there and say, well, no, I'm, I'm 
I'm just a I'm just a singer, which is what I used to do. I used to say I'm just a bass player. I can't do that. You mean you, you want me to work a camera? <laughs> You're gonna be out of your mind. I'm playing the bass here. That was me. That was me. And now, because of how life unfolds itself, I've had to learn all these different skills. I've had to learn how to speak in public. I've had to learn how to go out and heal people, help people. I need to get get out more. I've got to be yearning to get out more because I can see the amazing effects that my small talent has on other people. So I want to grow that. I want to keep growing for myself. And I'm learning how to do it all for myself. And then when other people come in, they learn, I'm trying to get them to learn how to do it for themselves. So you've got a whole group of people who are all working, but taking responsibility for their own positions. And that makes you less fearful once you say, this is it, I can do this, this is brilliant. Fear, fear goes, the fear disappears. This is brilliant, this is starting to go. And then you've got to keep working at it, actions every day and then change your vibration into the vibration that you want it to you want to be in. And then that will start to manifest itself in your actions and your skill set will start to grow and grow and grow. And therefore you will end up in the place that you want to end up. If you go down the line of being afraid that you become aggressive and very, very bad scene, very bad scene. It's downward spiral there, downward spiral. And it's where a lot of people are going. So step out of the crowd. Do what you got to do and become the human being that you want to be. And that's so important, really, so important. So fear is false evidence appearing real. When you actually sit and meditate, you're in the home, hopefully, or you might be in a field or a garden or something like that. What are you fearful of there? Nothing. Connect with the inside. You realise once you really deeply, deeply connect to yourself, you realise you're just energy. That's all you are. This physical body is just you, a vehicle for you to experience the material world, the physical world. You are energy, your your life force energy, life particles, it actually calls it. Energy, that's all you are. And you're just experiencing this. Where that goes, well, there's many, many philosophers who've talked about that. There's, there's, I, I feel that the Chambu Kyung is a very good answer to that it goes back to the one so you're building Tao philosophy you're building 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 and it goes back to the one with purification it's a learning process we're going through a learning process so if you want to be free and peaceful you need to have no sense of fear have no sense of fear one of the easiest ways of doing it is turning off the mainstream media it's good to keep up to date with current trends and what's happening in the world but not being blasted at with a propaganda or a twist in it, being propagandized, if there's such a word. I am being propagandized. Mainstream media, mainstream media, I am being propagandized. No, no, you don't want any of that business. What you want to do is empower yourself to get that information if you want to have that information and then be discerning about it. And then therefore the fear starts to go. I don't want you to be fearful. Nobody wants you to be fearful in their right minds. Only certain people do, but they're not in their right minds. And you'll start to discover that as you start to research deeper and deeper into this matrix. So the people who don't want you to be peaceful are not in their right minds and never ever lose that feeling that I am going to be peaceful. I am going to be free. I am going to rid myself from this matrix life that I live in and I'm going to live in a a world that I want to live in and I'm going to start to create that and once you start to do that I'll see you on the other side (laughs) thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video